hello guys welcome back to a brand new video on the bazilla effects trading so guys today i'm going to be teaching you i'm going to be simplifying on how you can use the indicator we call the moving average we are going to i'm going to be showing you on how we can implement it on and how can we take signals off it how we can take buy signals and sell signals off it as you can see this is one of the the trade i took this was a usd uh jpy trade as you can see this is a usd jpy trade i took this is a daily time frame as you can see i'm going to be explaining on how you can effectively use it how you can implement it and what moving average you should use so guys if you're new in here make sure to subscribe uh turn your notification bell so that you don't miss out on our weekly videos and also guys i want to thank you for the 3,000 subscribers you see guys we hit big numbers every time we're hitting big numbers we're reaching more and more we're hitting 400 plus subscribers per month guys let's keep on subscribing let's put keep on pushing all this so as to more people so they can learn how we can make money with the forex market so without further ado guys let's get started with this video uh so guys moving average is an indicator it's an indicator we have very many indicators as you can see these are all indicators as you can see these are all indicators that we have in the forex market they're actually more than even i don't know ten thousand plus indicators but all these indicators they're supposed to just smoothen out price action for us mostly now are the moving average so what is moving average moving average is just an indicator that can smoothen now smoothen out price action for you so let's say if uh, if you're someone who knows price action price action is where you analyze these charts by using price action so you need to use indicators you just you know you know how the market moves you know market the patterns and all that but this time around we are going to use the indicator called the moving average the reason why is because moving average is smoothen out price action like it can literally tell you price is about to cross i mean price is about to reverse or price is about to reverse to the upper side or the downside guys if you're just a beginner trader if you're a trader who has been in the market for a long time and you don't know what indicator to use because we shouldn't re really rely on indicators but having just one indicator that you rely on you have tested it out it can help you so me i've tested out the moving average indicator multiple times and it has worked for me guys and i've taken trades off it because i don't need to be in the market every time i only come into the market when I'm, i see the sign so guys first of all we are going to add the moving average so this is as you can see this is my daily time frame so what i'm going to do i'm just going to tap anywhere on the screen there like that then come to indicators like this then tap main window as you can see then we are going to choose our moving average as that so this is our moving average as you can see so we are going to choose exponential the reason why i choose the exponential moving average is because it reacts fast to price changes you see we have simple exponential we have smooth and linear weighted linear weight so i'm going to choose exponential because it reacts fast to price action and i'm going to leave the period at 50 and then shift at zero just leave it at the way it is here then let's say pixel here yeah then serve then press done so this is our first moving average as you can see okay this is our mo first moving average so we are going to choose another moving average so what you want to do tap anywhere on the screen like that tap indicators and then tap main window then we are going to choose again moving average so for us to really see uh for 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 us to uh to, to smoothen out price action we need to have two moving averages you can't just rely on one in one moving average so this is going to be a 21 exponential so as you can see this is method here as you can see we're going to leave it on exponential then we're going to change our color so meaning this one this one has to be a different color we don't want them to collide so this is going to be a, that red color as you can see then done as you can see these are my two moving averages very beautiful as you can see these are my moving averages guys but remember this is i'm on a daily time frame so i'm going to be analyzing as you can see guys i'm not analyzing very many pairs i told you to be a fair trader, you need to just analyze the few pairs so that you can have an edge on them. You see, I have Euro USD, I have GBP USD, I have Euro GBP, I have USD Chef. So these are all my pairs that are my favorite pairs to trade. I also trade indices on my other platform, on my other account, but this one is mostly for forex pairs only and maybe gold in there. So the first pair I'm going to analyze is GBP USD. This is GBP USD. This is a nice trade I took, and you can see it's that's a very nice pair I took off the moving average. I took this pair off the moving average but again i also had some an other analysis as you can see guys because if i keep on changing my time frames you will see you see what we have you see you see what we have guys so how did i use the moving average so first of all guys i told you a moving average is just there to smoothen out price action for us like it smoothens 
out price action for us so that we can have like that easy acts uh easy we sort of can have those easy trades you know so the first thing when the moving average is uh in a downtrend we have so it it shows it shows us where price is so if we're in a downtrend guys price is always going to range below the moving average like this so if you're trading and you're just new to forex i want you to understand this whenever price is in a downtrend the moving averages have to be above price so you have to see price you know ranging below like this you see even up here you see price was ranging below this is what we want to see and then when you see price trying to cross like this then you can know there are signs of reversal but again as i told you when i'm using the moving average i always like to use another indicator called the rsi guys i love to use the indicator called the rsi the reason why i use rsi i always want to see divergency i always want to see divergency guys so this is my uh, moving average as you can see still i'm on the daily time frame me when i'm analyzing charts i start from the weekly time frame. most times i start from the weekly time frame so that i can see the picture what is the picture like then um i look at the um i look at the daily time frame so that i can identify the trend then i look at the uh, four hour time frame so that i can identify the pattern the reason why i do that i do a top-down analysis as you can see what we had we had a first of all a divergence from here to here this is divergence guys from here from right here as guys as you can see this is what we call divergence this is the first sign you have this is the first sign i had divergence let me delete this real quick here as you can see guys as i told you divergence is where you have price coming down like this and then you have your indicator coming up like this you see guys this is what we call divergence and it has to be in the same line like in the same line guys let me mark this out very well for you so that you can see as you can see it has to be in the same zone then i'll choose also this put it right there you see guys look in this zone here you see my price is coming up i mean the mo indicator is coming up like this and then uh, my moving average is coming down i mean my price is coming down like this so this is a reversal sign so when i was doing my top down analysis i saw this i knew okay now price is about to change you know we're going to have that upper move so even you can see we had uh, th uh we had uh, two green candles come in this is what uh, one week two weeks then this other week this starting week now so also i started coming up you know so guys this this was my first analysis i had to make how is the weekly time frame looking like so this is what i had i had divergence because even when i jump onto um uh, when i jump onto guys uh when I jump onto my for my uh, daily time frame, as you can see, still I had divergence. Divergence was a good sign to know that okay, price is about to change. So when I see divergence is about to, when I see divergence has happened, then I know prices are definitely going to cross here. So I can definitely, I can definitely take pri I can take trade when price now starts crossing here because I know this this is like it's not like a rule, but I've the times I've been in the market, guys, I know when price crosses here, it's likely to touch this part before it coming down, guys. It's, it's supposed to touch the upper the upper trend line it's supposed to touch the other trend line before doing anything so i'm going to show you so the uh, the blue one is the 50 ema or the 50 exponential moving average and the red one is the 21 exponential moving average so never so the first sign i have prices about to reverse is divergence you can even see up here even on the daily time frame still we have divergence guys we have divergence let me delete this line quick uh, I think I should come here. Uh, yes, this one. So, the first thing is we have divergence even on this small time frame. Let me show you. Let me draw out for you divergence even here. You can see so that you can see it. So, me, whenever I see divergence, I know there is going to be reversal. And even knowing about what is happening right now in the world, you can definitely know what is what will happen so uh, we last month we had uh, you know the the price of uh, we had the gbp uh, most of the pairs really going down crazy so guys as you can see here we have price coming down like this and then we have per, uh an indicator price coming up like this so this is divergence so if i have this now i i also know that price is going to really come up but again i want to be very sure guys i want to be very sure look what i have next guys look on what i have next this is a falling wedge pattern this is my falling wedge pattern you see so let's first remove this indicator 
the Irish side. So this is now what I have, guys. I told you last time in one of my previous videos that trading patterns is the simplest. It's the simplest way for you to catch quick trades and very sure trades. When you're trading patterns, you only trade it whenever it appears. Always. So this is a falling wage, guys, pattern. This is a reversal pattern. So remember, I told you even last time, whenever we have a... In the, or we never have divergence. Divergence sometimes it moves in hand in hand in hand with the falling wedge. So this is my falling wedge. This is definitely a reversal pattern, guys. So for me to use the moving average, I love to use I love to use the moving average basically when price is on the extreme uptrend when it's about to reverse to the downside. And also when price is on the extreme downtrend, it's about to reverse to the upper side. So really so knowing key zones about uh, let's say monthly lows, weekly lows, it will help you really to use the moving average effectively. So right now I'm showing you the extreme downtrend on the GBP USD, but after this, I'm going to show you also on the USD JPY on how we took the trade. So guys, I was telling you, as you can see, we have here price coming up like this, you see. So as I told you I already have I already have uh, I already have uh, I already know price is going to come up. So you see price bounced off here It bounced off here with a very big candle like this. So it came up to this zone here So definitely you already know that price is now going to continue up. It's going to continue up So what even is going to make this candle more valid is when this green candle at the current candle if it closes from outside there It means that price is going to come even up more if you have to use some other blocks uh, strategy price is going to come even up more so guys you see so for us, we wanted just the breakout retest, and then we know trades go up. So, but this is just our this is our daily time frame. This is how it looks like. So let's jump onto the four hour time frame so that I can show you like where what do we based on? Because right now you just see price that has crossed. So sometimes we we also use what we call the moving average cross for confirmation. The moving average cross. We love to use that. So this is this is what we have, guys. This is what we call the moving average course. You can see this is still my falling wedge coming in like this. Now, guys, look at where the moving average crosses from. The, the, look where the 21 EMA crosses the 50 EMA. You see? Right there, guys. You see? They, they cross from there. And then, what I told you, whenever moving averages cross, it means change or uh, price is going to reverse. If it's been in a downtrend, to go to an uptrend. You see? So this is what we have. Moving averages, of course, that's another signal. Go for the buy, guys. This is another signal. You don't need you don't need really you don't need really to confuse yourself. As you can see, the moving averages crossed, and even that's the time where even market broke out. Market broke out, retested on our zones there. It took time for it to retest, but after now we see we had a smooth uptrend to the upper side. A smooth uptrend to the upper side. You get so guys for you to take this trade you really need to wait for multiple confirmations before you jump in you know as long as guys you have a proper risk management plan if you have you know a number of pips you are risking as long as your loss uh your stop loss is not hit you can always stay in, into the trade as long as you have uh patience because these things will always play out even though news come in like you see these weeks these long weeks it means news is really uh where the markets were really manipulated but again if you have a good uh risk to reward plan you can always succeed so this is gbp us as you can see guys this was a nice trend so let me t let me sh uh, take you through another trade i took this is the usd jpy trade as you can see I'm even still in, in, in this trade. I'm still holding this trade. Let's first go to the daily time frame. As you can see, so I'm, I'm first going to show you. Um, this is uh this is a uh, an FTMO funded account, guys, over two two hundred thousand dollar. I got this account last month, and so far I've made uh, thirteen uh, thirteen hundred thirteen hundred thousand. Is that true? Thirteen hundred. Oh, I've made so far ten thousand, three thousand, something here. So as you can see, this is guys. You see this? This is a standard lot size, and this is three thousand dollar profit. So this is almost uh, three hundred eighty four. This is almost three hundred eighty four pips. This is this is almost three hundred something pips. So let's see if our answer is true. Yeah, this is three hundred and eighty four pips, guys. This is three hundred and eighty four pips. This is how it looks like. But again, most of you guys think uh, really staying in trades for this long it's hard but guys it's very simple i'm going to show this that same analysis that i made using the moving average 
So the first one I showed you was GBP USD and I was in an uptrend. I mean a downtrend. As I told you when price is in a downtrend, it price has to uh, our price or the market has to be ranging below the moving average. But now since we are in, in an uptrend, you can see. So it means price has to be price has to be in uh, price has to be ranging above our moving average as you can see. So this is uh, this is price moving above our moving average. So first of all, I'll first give you a small uh, is a trade down how you can track take these trades before the uh, we see the reversal so let's say if a price is in a, a steep uptrend like this case so you would want to take trade whenever price you know retests like oh it comes back to this moving average because most of it comes back to this moving average and we're in a, a in the uptrend so when it comes back to this moving average price is like it that's where it tests it retests because this moving average also they can work as trend lines because you know the uh, mostly the 21 EMA it works as the trend line for you. So when price retouch touches there, just take the trade because it's going to bounce off. As long as you see the signal and as long as you see the candles, what are the candles saying? So guys, this was the Euro uh, USD JPY. So I'm going to jump onto my trading view so that I can show you uh, more there. So this is my trading view. I already have everything set up, my moving average and my order blocks. So. You know when I'm, I'm trading I use a lot of things uh, but I just make sure everything is in line with what I'm trading. So these are my moving average as I, as I told you the blue one is the uh, 21 EMA and then the red one is the 50 EMA as you can see. So this so these are my order blocks. You see this green color? This green color is another block. This is also another block. So this is a bearish order block and this is a, a bullish order block this green color. So when price when price uh, was up when the dollar really went up crazy this last month it formed another block so guys another block is where banks and institutional institutions have their orders placed in so if price ever comes back to this zone here it, the price will just bounce off and go back down if price ever comes back to this zone here so when price came here it formed another block so meaning these guys are waiting for price to ever come back here so that price will bounce, bounce off but again I was watching this market for like quite a long time, as you can see. So this is what we heard, guys. I don't know if you can see this. Let me first zoom in well. Yeah. Guys, look at this price cam. Broke. Bounced off the order book. Now it came in a downtrend. You get. But again, on what did you have on our moving average? We had on our moving average. Moving average it started like looking down like you know price they are also showing that price is coming down to a downtrend you know they're showing us they're headed to this downer order block but how what analysis did we make so let's jump onto back our here so when you jump onto the let's see the weekly time frame because we love to do a top down analysis uh -huh. so what we, what we have here right now we see that price price had come into it had given us this impulsive move you see impulsive move because when you look down here we had also an impulsive move to the upper side this is an impulsive move so we had really had to have a, a small retracement because market can never really go in a straight line only so we really needed to have this retracement and then price has continued so again we had uh again we had another move here so this this is another impulsive move to the upper side so we price has had at least we test uh, i tried to retrace before and we continue to the upper side depending on what structure are there but now since this is the weekly time frame so we had this long long you know so meaning if buyers were really buyers were in for a long time so sellers also have to come in so that's why when we jump onto the daily time frame this is not where we, we look for patterns you know this is where we see the trend so the trend we had was a downtrend so we had a downtrend so and remember on our double block we had price you know breaking out of uh we had price breaking off from the order block and retesting it but guys look where it price retested it when i go to my four hour time frame i had what we call a bullish flag look at this guys you see i had a bullish flag so guys all i've, I've showed you the pattern it was the falling wedge on the gbp usd and now this is my pattern on the usd jpy i told you me whenever i see patterns that's like a assured trade guys that are, that's like 100 percent assured so i had a, i had my what my flag you see I even took my trade guys if i zoom in like this you see i took my trade just at the breakout just at the breakout because I, I knew this was now 100 percent locked in this is my trade guys and then also we had the flag pattern 
you know flag pattern it's a contortional pattern to the downside then also we had there the moving averages cross remember moving averages cross that indicates for a reversal guys it indicates for a reversal to the downside it's a reversal pattern or it's a reversal signal so that's why we had price coming in down crazy like this you see you can even see guys i took this trade this is a swing trade for not really many days as you can see here i took that this trade on the 27th of last month which was july i took this trade on the 27th of last month which was uh july you see this was my nice nice trade guys you see this is almost 384 pips i've been in this trade i even sent it out in the vip so that everyone can feed off the same analysis you know but it was all of, of moving averages you know Whenever I'm using moving average, I want it. I want it to smoothen out my price action for me. I want it to, you know, help me smoothen out everything for me. But again, guys, for you to be able to use the moving average indicator, you really you need to know at least price action. You need you need to know you need to uh, be able to trade with your eyes. You know, you need to be able to trade with your eyes, guys, and always have a stop loss. I'm begging you guys, always have a stop loss, because if you don't have a stop loss, even though how good your analysis is, and if you don't have a stop loss. You always be a bad trader. A bad trader is someone who doesn't trade with a stop loss. You need to be a good trader who trades with discipline and all that, guys. But this was my moving average, guys, as you saw. Ah, uh, let's see if we can do another analysis, another pair. Let's see uh, which other one. I think for today, guys, let's do only that USD JPY and GBP USD. Yeah. But again, guys, don't forget whenever price bounces off or oil to tests, when I'm moving average, you always buy. If it's in a downtrend, we want price to come back here. So for us to take another trade here, let's say another sell trade, we shall wait for this moving average to come back to this trend line so that we can now take another sell trade. Like you can even see here. We had there, you see? We had this these big candles come in. So they almost wanted to go to the moving average. Then price kept on coming down like this, you see. So guys, this was the moving average strategy, guys. It's very simple to use. Apply it. When you're applying, these are the these are the uh these are the uh, settings for the indicators as you can see uh -huh. so this is the 50 ema as you can see you only choose exponential the reason why is ex we choose exponential because it reacts fast to price changes then you can always choose uh, the color in color you want and then make sure it's on four pixels right the, the moving average is uh, seeable then this is the 21 ema same so we're choosing the exponential moving average so so that you can have like clear everything is clear like this you see guys so, guys, make sure when you're starting to analyze, make a top-down analysis from the biggest time frame, and then let these indicators just give you a bonus that price is really going there. And also, apply the fundamentals, because let me show you guys. It's always news that breaks out these patterns, or, or, or breaks out every structure. Wherever you see these big, big candles, it means the news have dropped, or uh, there's something really has happened, you know, in the, in the economic or social, in the economic world. So, guys knowing also the fundamental is really key so guys i hope you have enjoyed that video and uh, i uh, make sure to subscribe and i'm bringing guys more and more quality content and again guys thank you for the 3000 subscribers make sure to subscribe again guys don't forget to like comment let's kill this youtube algorithm and i'll see you in my next video guys see you